Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I thought it would be good to just slow down a little bit and share with you all the progress that we're making in our master bathroom renovation. Uh, this has been coming for years and years and years, something we've wanted to do for a very long time, and I've talked about it here for the past few months. So I thought it was about time that I kind of share the space with you all and share my plans for, you know, what we want to do with the space design wise and all of that. And also share a little backstory of where we started. This bathroom um, we've, is downstairs in our house and we've never actually used it as our bedroom and bathroom. It's always kind of been closed off. It's been, um, we've used the bedroom down there as like a home office before. It's been a playroom, it's been a guest room, um, but the bathroom itself has never really been used all that much. I did give it a little makeover uh, years ago, kind of similar to the one that I did up here, I'm upstairs. What ended up happening is we had a major leak in our roof and it basically just destroyed that bathroom. And so we were given no other choice other than to just rip it down to the studs and start over. Problem is we couldn't really start over rebuilding this bathroom until we had the roof problem fixed. We ended up doing a complete exterior renovation. Um, and so that took a little while to get going. We finally were able to get that complete last year, new roof. Uh, we did new siding, new windows, got the entire house, you know, dried in properly. And then we were finally able to start working on this bathroom, finally. Um, so the exterior renovation was last year. So this year we've um, devoted to getting this bathroom actually put back together. It is on the lower level of our home. And when we first moved in here, uh, eight years ago now, our kids were really little and we just liked the idea of being on the same floor as them. We had never lived in a two-story house and it just made the most sense to be on the same level with them. So we kind of just put the idea of a master bedroom bathroom out of the out of the picture for a while. And then of course the leak and all that happened. So eight years later, here we are finally getting to design the space and hopefully we'll be able to move in next month. So the before pictures of this room are even more, um, I don't wanna say shocking, but bold maybe than the bathroom I shared with you all a couple weeks ago. Rather than being yellow, everything in this bathroom was mint green. Uh, toilets, sinks, tubs, everything just straight from the 1960s and it was really well done in its time um, but definitely needed an update um, it was then that i decided to paint everything much like i did the bathroom up here that i shared with you all and we really weren't using the space all that much it really didn't have a purpose other than you know if we had guests come over um, but of course all of that came a crashing down when we had the major leak so for a little while it was kind of spruced up with paint and things like that um, but in designing a room from scratch like this, which is something I've really never done, I've always just kind of spruced up spaces um, and tried to work with what was there, uh, that kind of thing. But to completely take a room down like walls and everything and start from scratch is something kind of new for me. When it came for designing the space this time around, I knew that I wanted to make really good choices. It is so easy to get swept away in the world of Instagram and Pinterest, and there's so many beautiful design ideas out there. It can become overwhelming very quickly. And so um, I just really had to put all of that out of my mind and think about how I wanted to use the space and how it would most suit my husband and I. The space is, it's approximately eight by 10. So it's not a huge, master bathroom by any means, but it's definitely big enough to hold two separate vanities, which was something on my list for sure, us to each have our own vanities, um, have the toilet of course, and then either do a walk-in shower or either have like a tub shower combo. There really wasn't enough space to try to fit in, um, you know, a, a tub and then also have a separate shower. And so that kind of went out the window from the get-go. And honestly, it's not so, I, I could have gotten rid of a vanity and put a soaking tub in place of two separate vanities and then just done like the double vanity, like one unit. But to me, I felt like we would way more benefit from us each having our own vanity spaces more so than we would having a standalone tub. So to me, it just made the most sense to knock that. Um, and I didn't want to just have a stand up shower without a tub because I think having the option 
to take a bath or even to bathe the dog or anything like that. It's, it's nice to have that on your main living level. So because we wanted to make decisions for the long haul, we decided to go with a tub shower combo. Another thing is material. I knew right away that I did not want tile and I know <laughs> that's just not something you hear, especially designers would probably cringe at that, but to me, this bathroom needed to be easy to maintain and easy to, you know, last, like last the long haul. I wanted something that um, is not gonna go out of style in five years. I really don't ever wanna have to renovate this bathroom again, like in my lifetime. So if we can make choices that will last, um, I feel like that's the way to go. Uh, so what we decided to do was just choose like a fiberglass set. So bathtub and then it has the wall surround that you add separately. It has kind of like a faux subway tile look, but it's very classy and elegant and I really like it. It has like a little cutout niche for your uh, shampoo bottles and soaps and things, um, but it's something that I really am loving and I'm really glad we made that choice. It's very easy to clean and at this stage in my life, that is what I'm after. I would much rather have something that functions properly rather than something that's extravagant and I'm choosing only because of the way it looks. The one place that I was gonna choose tile is our flooring. I thought that would be really pretty. I had the tile picked out. I wanted to go with like a white um, tile uh, and a darker grout to hopefully make it a little easier to maintain. But as this room started progressing, I realized that there was just too much white going on. I really needed something to kind of anchor the space because I know I'm probably not going to be painting the walls a super dark color and so I thought it might just look better and feel more comfortable and a lot more warm and cozy to add a darker floor um, and so to me I decided I wanted more of a wood look. Uh, so we ended up going with a product called Smart Core Ultra. It's like a laminate type flooring from Lowe's and they have a ton of different colors. It's pretty easy to install. It has the underlayment built in it and it's 100% waterproof, which is key for a bathroom. So while I would love to have like real hardwood floors in the bathroom, we all know that's not a great, <laughs> not a great choice. And so this kind of gives me the look of hardwood floors and the warmth of hardwood floors while still being very practical and waterproof and hopefully will last us a very long time. For the vanities for this space, kind of going along the same lines of just keeping things very simple and timeless, uh, we just went with two kind of, they have sort of like a whitewashed look to them. They were already made that way. It has the white an engineered stone top already on it. The sink is built in um, and it's very, very pretty, very elegant, um, but also something that I think will stand the test of time and not really go out of style. Um, another thing that I am still kind of figuring out, but I think I've about got it, is I'm wanting to mix and match some metals in the bathroom. So I'm really into like antique brass right now and I just want everything to be antique brass, but I was trying to think long term. And so what I decided to do was choose chrome fixtures for like our faucets, our bath, like our shower faucets and our sink faucets. Um, and then just accessorize with the brass finishes. So like towel hooks, um, we went with brass lighting fixtures and also brass hardware for the cabinets themselves. By mixing and matching metals, I'm able to get the look that I want with uh, the brass finishes, but then the fixtures that are a little more complicated to change out by sticking with something that is always a classic like chrome, you really can't go wrong. So if the day comes that I wanna switch, you know, the lights and things out to something different, that's a pretty easy fix. Another thing that is really important to me that you know we can add to this space is a lot of character. So when you're building a brand new space, sometimes it can be hard to add those character elements that still make the, the bathroom feel like it's part of our old farmhouse. And I just want it to have that cozy, classic, timeless look. And so one of the ways I'm going to achieve that is by adding beadboard to the walls. So right now we have like a mold guard a sheet rock up to protect against moisture and all of that. But we're going to actually go over top of that and add beadboard that we're going to paint. Um, and I really feel like that will add a lot of texture to this space and really give it that 
vintage kind of authentic farmhouse feel that will match the rest of our house. There is no other room in this entire house that has finished sheetrock and so I felt like it would really stand out and not in a good way if we decided to go that route. So hopefully that will really help achieve that look. Another thing that I want to do to add some character to this space is add some kind of antique furniture or cabinet piece, something that we can use sort of as a linen closet of sorts. Um, so that was another reason we decided on a tub shower combo rather than the idea of like a shower and a, and a tub um, is because I really wanted to have enough space in this room to add a really pretty antique piece of furniture. And I think we're going to be able to use one that we already have. You all may remember it, but uh, we have this corner cabinet. It's an antique cabinet. It actually belongs to my husband's aunt, um, but she's letting us use it. And I think that it would be really pretty um, just in the corner of this bathroom. And I'm really excited to see it all come together. So that's the plan for that. I feel like those two items, just adding texture to the walls, incorporating some antique finds will really help to add a lot of character to the space. For the ceiling of this bathroom, our plan is to do like a shiplap ceiling and it's kind of the opposite of what we have in the rest of our house. So we did like a beadboard ceiling and we have some shiplap walls randomly in the house. And this is kind of the reverse of that. So we're gonna do beadboard on the walls, shiplap on the ceiling, and I think it will really tie the space in with the rest of the house. Another benefit to doing this is we're not having to actually finish the sheetrock, which is something we really didn't want to take on because it's something we've not done before. And that is one of those jobs that you really need to know what you're doing and do it right, or you have just a huge mess. So we wanted to eliminate the need to even have to think about that. And so this is kind of a win-win. I'll get the character and the texture that I want on the walls, and we've completely eliminated our need to have to actually finish the sheetrock. When it comes to how I want to decorate this space, I hope that I can merge the decor that we're going to have going on in the actual bedroom with what we have going on in the bathroom. So I'm trying to kind of merge those spaces to where they flow together, but then of course they have their own kind of look. As far as decorating the space, I'm still making decisions, but I have an overall idea in my mind of what I want things to look like. I have done a lot of Pinterest searching and I feel like all of the Pinterest pictures that I have found, I like will pull certain elements that I like out of these pictures. And then I'm taking those and kind of combining them to create our own space. And so that's what's great about Pinterest is just finding inspiration, finding ideas, and then merging all those together to create a space that you truly love. But I've had my eye on um, the Billy rug. It's from the Amber Lewis Lavoy um, collection that they did together. And it is absolutely beautiful. There is so much beautiful color in it. And the lar I got the large area rug that's going to go under our bed, but I got the runner for the bathroom. The area rug is actually on back order right now, but the runner did come and it is just so beautiful. So that is going to be my starting off point for designing these spaces is one rug, um, but it gives a lot of color and warmth and I just, I love it. So I'm going to be pulling from that when it comes to decorating the rest of our bedroom and also the bathroom. Overall, the decor will be very simple, much like the rest of our house. I just feel like we all thrive better in a more simple environment where there's not as much stuff to have to clean around or move around. Um, I'm a big fan of just keeping things as simple as possible and then just focusing on a few kind of wow um, pieces. So what I hope to do is add some really pretty art to the walls. Um, it's my plan. So I hope to add some vintage artwork, whether it's something that I print on my you know computer at home. I do that a lot. Uh, or maybe something I can thrift, but I want to have really pretty, like some ornate uh, sort of rustic gold or antique gold frames, um, something really uh, full of character to kind of add a pop to the wall. Um, and then I've picked out some really pretty mirrors, which are really popular. They're everywhere. They're from Target, um, but they've been the best mirrors that I could find to really suit this space. And um, they have like a wood frame and I think it'll be a nice contrast. I forgot to mention, what color I plan on painting the walls. Originally, I was just gonna do white everything because I feel like that's just safe, but I've since decided that I am gonna paint the walls more of that, um, a closer match to what we're painting the trim, which is called Accessible Beige. It's the Sherwin-Williams color, and it is more of just a warm, 
beige color and I think that will be really pretty with the wood floor and also it will allow our vanities to pop. I think our vanities would kind of just disappear behind an all white wall. So we'll see. I'm still on the fence about that one. It's kind of the direction we're leaning right now and then I'll just paint the ceiling white. Last thing I wanted to just mention is um, that we did get a quote to have the bathroom done and it was just a lot higher than what we really had allocated for this space and this makeover. So we decided to take it on ourselves. We've basically done all of the work in our house ourselves. And so really this is no different. Uh, the only thing is they probably could have got it done in a week or two. And it's taking us a couple of months because it's just my husband and I were working on it an hour here, an hour there. And it's really hard to make a ton of progress all at one time, just working on it a little bit at a time, but we're getting there. And now that we kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel, we're really grateful that we made that choice. Of course, I'm so blessed to have a husband who knows how to do these things. He, he knows how to do it all. So I'm really, really blessed. I'm just the helper. And then I make the design choices is basically my role. But anyway, um, we're saving a ton of money by doing it ourselves. Although, like I said, it is taking longer. In the long run, I think we'll be happy that we did save a lot of money. And by doing so, that's allowed me to have more wiggle room in our budget to spend a little more on like decor rugs. I picked out some really pretty throw pillows that to me are a splurge. I probably wouldn't have been able to do that if we had hired out this renovation. Lots of things to consider like that, um, but I hope you all are as excited about seeing how all of this comes together as I am. It's definitely been a journey and it's been a long time coming. We've been here eight years and I've patiently been waiting to have this space of our own. So really excited to see it all come together. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed just hanging out with me today and kind of listening to our plans for this space and um, can't wait to see it all come together. But you will have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.